all right. We're in the thick of it. I think I misspoke about two videos ago when I had the Takayasu video and said it was halftime, but it was actually early. Uh, you know, I was just off my timeline. Uh, so halftime just passed. We had Midori Fuji. Endo beat Ono Show. Uh, Meisei just got a win over Ryuden. And now we are at Daesho Abi. And Daesho, of course, on the leaderboard, 6-1, and one, one off the pace of Midori Fuji. He was able to watch that match. And so he knows the outcome. He knows he needs a win here to uh, stay in the hunt. And uh, Abi also very much in the hunt with his 5-2 and two record. Uh, Abi at Maigashira 2 this tournament. Daisho is a Komasubi. Sorry, I'm, I think I'm going to get the hiccups. I'm trying not to. Daisho, of course, has been as high as Sekewake in his career. And he and Abi both have won Yusho. So they are two men uh, that could win a second tournament in their careers if they win here in March. The other man that could win his second Yusho would be Shodai, who is having a decent tournament. Uh, everybody else that's won before is pretty much out of the hunt. Um, Terana Fuji and Take Keisho are both obviously not even competing. Um, Wakataka Kage has won one before, but he is not in the hunt. Tamawashi is really not in the hunt, and he's won twice before. And the only other man in the top division who's won a Yusho before is Mitake Yumi, who's actually won three of them, uh, but, uh, you know, is currently, what is Mitake Yumi? Uh, let's see. Uh, he is three and four, so it would have to be, he would have to win every match, and, you know, it would be an 11 and four you show, which I don't think that's going to happen. I think somebody will win it with a 12 and three, um, and so he's pretty much out of the hunt. So it's Daisho, Shodai, and Abi, as far as repeat winners, and then anybody else that wins, like Atakiyasu or Midori Fuji, uh, very much in keeping with the spirit of 2022, uh, it will be their first Yusho ever. So uh, the chances of us having a brand new Yusho winner is high, and uh, that can make it exciting for people on day 15. They want to see somebody that's never won before win their first Yusho. Uh, I just like to see good sumo. <laughs> Uh, I don't really have any, I, I, I have professed, uh, you know, that I like Midori Fuji in the past, so I'm absolutely happy that he's doing well, and I want to see him up in Sanyaku. I think he's very competitive for his size, and, uh, but uh, other than that, and Takiyasu, the sentimental favorite, uh, who I think deserves to win a Yusho in his career, um, so those are the two guys I'm rooting for the most at this point, uh, but uh, no huge stake in the winner or the loser. All right, here we go. Let's see who gets this one. Daisho in the red, Abi in the black. Yeah, when I go on day 14 next Saturday to see it live, um, if Midori Fuji is still in the lead, I might have to buy a Midori Fuji towel and hold it up and support. <laughs> somebody, somebody left a comment that said, you know, you might, there's a good chance you'll be on the Abema coverage because they like to show foreigners in the crowd. Uh, the problem is we're not very close to the Dohyo. We're up in the red seats, the single seats. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's hard to get tickets on the final two days in, in, in any of the arenas, but, uh, you know, uh, I was able to get these seats, and I'm, I'm glad for that. And that was uh, Jeff at BuySumoTickets.com helped me out. So if you need that link, it's as always, it'll be in the final match of the day. The Masubi no Ichiban today is Hoshoru versus Matakeyumi, and I will have that match on the channel for you uh, a little later on. So good, solid work from Daesho. He maintains his one-loss record. 
And of course, uh, there is no other one lost Rikishi anymore. Uh, so it's pretty much just him and Midori Fuji going into day nine. Tomorrow, uh, I'll repeat this, but tomorrow for day nine, uh, Monday the 20th, I won't have any coverage. Uh, I won't be coming home from school at a normal time. Um, and uh, But I'll bounce back on Tuesday the 21st because it's a national holiday and I don't have to go to school with fairly uh, full coverage for day 10. But no coverage on day 9, uh, just so you know. Okay, come on back.